when your house becomes the gym. Well, good morning. <sighs> this quarantine life has really probably had everyone like up and down, up and down in, in regards to your moods or anything. I know for me, it has me feeling like I'm locked up or some type of, I don't know. I don't know about you, but um, I would like to know about you. So if you put down in the comments, um, let's talk, get to know each other. Anyway, yesterday I felt like the whole world was just not my world anymore. It was like, just not in my control. And I just feel like I wasn't doing anything that I wanted to do. And I probably blew up at some people. Uh, I just feel like, I don't know. And I miss the gym. I actually miss going to the gym and actually training and being around weights and I'm trying to talk about this without even crying you're probably like you miss the gym that much <laughs> but I actually do because Lifting weights are my therapy. It's it, it just brings a natural high. It makes me feel like I can conquer anything. You know, it, it brings so much confidence. Um, it brings inner strength. It does. It does. Um, one day I would love to just do a real good video. So if you know anyone who's real good at, you know, doing videos and to capture my story, I want to let you all know that it's not where you come from, it's where you're going. Definitely. Um, I, I, I come from a mixed family. My father is um, half black and half Indian. And my mother is born and raised from Madrid, Spain. So I got Spanish, black and Indian all in this. And growing up in that time period where you're just not accepted by the blacks, whites you just not you know and kids are so cruel and my father <laughs> you know he he was in the air force he was master sergeant of the air force thank god he was a good man a good man that something happened and uh he got real sick mentally so he ended up turning into what, at that age, I would say a bad man. You know, cheated on my mom, wanted to play the field. He was a debonair. All the women wanted. He was a woman's man, just like that song. Every wherever you lay your hat, he called it his home. Remember that? Who who sung that song? Anyway, it's not coming to my mind right now, but you get what I'm saying. And he he was bipolar, so he was mentally 100% disabled from the Air Force. And bipolar um, depression, he was, he took it out on my mom my brother and I. And there's like certain 
certain periods of my life, I really remember like it was yesterday. It's amazing when you, in, when something negative or something very, very hurtful impacts you, you carry that for the rest of your life. And that's why it's my goal never to um, hurt anybody because I don't want you to have to carry that for the rest of your life. And I just remember times my father kidnapped us or one time he choked me and threw my brother and beat my mom. So basically, long story short, coming from all that and then moving into my grandmother's house, being sexually attacked by my uncle, getting kicked out, living on the streets. And somehow I found weight. Get up and get this weight. That's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna get up and uh, we're gonna make this happen. We're gonna make the best of it. Because this can't last forever. And I want all you women to know. You are strong. And you are beautiful. And you can accomplish anything you want. Anything. Anything. Okay? Know that. You can conquer all things. You are able to do all things once you put your mind to it. So, let's make this a good day. We're going to lift these weights. And we're going to feel rejuvenated. Yes. So, I decided I was just going to squat today and do whatever feels good. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Definitely what I'm going to do.
I almost forgot that I was recording. I'm gonna just go ahead and post it. Thank you for watching my vlog. Please subscribe, comment below. Whew. I love weight training. I love getting into finding what detox the body and makes it stronger. I can call for the rest of this day. Yeah, have a good day.